Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted a video. Actually, I have been pretty exhausted from the October month with Inktober and my holiday cups. And then it didn't really help that I was waking up early and not getting a full night's sleep every day. So I didn't think that I was that affected by all the work I was doing. But I guess when you're in the zone and you don't stop to take a break, you don't realize how tired you actually are. So I've spent over a week relaxing and taking a little break from everything before the Christmas holiday season. I have a lot of plans for the holidays, but we will see how much I actually get to. Right now I'm finishing up these motivational animal prints that I made a couple of different scents of these a while ago. But when making those, I completely forgot to make these mythical creatures with the top hats. It was always my plan to have all my animals wearing top hats and bow ties, but somehow I forgot to paint these guys right here, so I'm finishing them up. I figured before I started a bunch of new projects, I better finish up my last project. Uh, so basically I traced my original drawings onto some watercolor paper and just added the hats and bow ties. And to save time and paper, I put all of the creatures on the same watercolor sheet just to try that out. And that way when I'm painting part of one and I need to let it dry, I can move on to something else um, and then work and I don't have to stop and waste time sitting there watching paint dry. I'm a little impatient when it comes to letting paint dry before adding another layer. Usually when I'm painting I just want to keep going and not stop. So. I thought this was a good solution, but even working this way, I didn't wait long enough for certain parts to dry, so there are little watercolor mishaps here and there, but I'm okay with that. I know some people probably use a hair dryer or something to dry layers in between, um, but I don't have that luxury with the baby sleeping, because usually I'm working when she's sleeping, and loud noises aren't really good when you have a sleeping toddler. Which is funny because on a normal day, when we're not going out anywhere or doing anything, the slightest sound can wake her up. But then on mornings when we have to go to like church or an early doctor's appointment, I can bang pots and pans around in the kitchen. I can go to the bed and kiss her face a bunch and she won't even wake up. So like on those types of days, I have to physically pick her up to wake her up, which is funny to me. Anyway, um, unfortunately... It's been a long time since I painted the other creatures, and last time I mixed some of the colors, so this time I had to remix colors. Um, I ended up not really painting certain, some parts of these this, with the same exact colors, because I didn't actually get to mix the exact same colors. So they are a little off too, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I think they're close enough. That's why I prefer to work on a project until it's fully completed. If, uh, if you wait too long or take a break in between a piece, for me at least, it's harder to get back to where I left off. It's possible that when I leave something unfinished for too long and then I come back, I'm in a totally different headspace and I can't get back into that groove that I was when I'd started working on something. Luckily, with these guys though, I was able to pick it up where I left off pretty easily since they are actually really simple paintings and um, I've been staring at these characters a lot recently because I've been making prints and bookmarks of the other sets of these paintings. And I actually like the way these three all look together on one sheet. I'm wishing that I had done that with the other paintings, but that's all right. And it's nice to get back to watercolors after a month of ink. I like ink, but I really just like the flow of watercolors when they mix together. And I love working with minimal colors, like black ink. Um, it really simpl simplifies the process because you don't have to worry about what color to use where, or whether a color clashes with another color. But working in full color is nice too. I love bright colors. That's why I loved painting these creatures, because they are just bright and colorful. And looking at these bright colors on a nice clean white 
piece of paper makes me so happy. I hope these guys made you happy too. And I hope you enjoy the video. But um, I guess that'll be it for me. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video. I've got some big plans ahead that I hope I can share with you guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye.